Hello and welcome to this video on the ASC Premium 386 DX25 MHz. What you're looking at at the moment is the main processor in this computer, the 386 DX25 MHz. This is the computer from AST that AST manufactured back in 1999. Ooh, that's old. Now, this particular board that you're looking at at the moment is not the motherboard, so don't go adjusting your set. This is actually a daughter board. So let's zoom out and have a look. Now, as you can see, the board is actually sitting vertically to the actual motherboard itself. Ooh, that's strange, isn't it? Well, a lot of people haven't seen this configuration, so I'm going to try and show it to you and explain to you in the best possible way I can, with a little bit of fun. So, this here, by the way, is the Matsco processor. Back in the day, the main processor didn't have many MATS capabilities. So when you were running stuff such as AutoCAD, Autodesk's AutoCAD, uh, version 10 for 386, you needed a MATS coprocessor or it just wouldn't run. There was a few available, this one from Intel, or you could put in a Wirtec processor, which was considerably more expensive. But a lot of people thought it was a better processor. I should I say, coprocessor. Now, let's have a look at the board itself. This brown slot down here is unique to AST as well. This slot here is for their proprietary cars. Now a lot of people will say, oh it's not proprietary, it's something this, it looks like VLB. Well, if you know VLB, you'll know that the end piece it doesn't exist on a VLB. The end piece I'm talking about is the bit at this end here. That does not exist on the VLB board. It does exist on the PCI board, of course, but not a VLB board. And I'll show you a VLB board a little bit later on from ATI. Now, what we then have is, of course, the hard drive in this computer, which is massive 40 megabytes. Now, I'm going to take out some of the components and show them to you in a little bit more detail so you can have a better view. As you can see, it's fairly cramped in there, and it's not very easy to see. The video card in this computer is a V7. Uh, that's video 7 uh, actual video card now the actual chipset on this card is actually from S3 but of course it's branded as V7 the battery on this computer is this little fella down here this is the battery here Let's try and maneuver it around a bit there you are that's the battery the battery itself is a lithium battery and it hasn't skipped the beat lost the beat nothing it's perfect. This machine has been running there recently. I put Windows for War Grips 3.11 on it and it's working fine. The hard drive though I have to say is a little bit too small. And I will have to upgrade it with one of my larger hard drives. Maybe one of my 120s or you know 250s. They're massive I know. Most USB sticks and most computers will be bigger than that. What you're seeing at the moment is a lovely view of two power leads. They look like they're doing something they shouldn't be doing. But they are. Okay. That's enough of this section. I'm going to move on to the next little bit and I will take out this board and show it to you in a little bit more detail. Um, I want to just give it a little more of a better shot of it. So, back in a second when I take it out.